and you had to freaking be chasing them downstream. Like, I lost that second one because I was taking off downstream before the fish knew he was hooked. We, get, we catch, you know, 20 plus inch fish on top um, from June into October. Uh, their colors were brilliant. Uh, you know, the fins were perfect on these fish. I mean, they were just, I mean, absolutely perfect specimens of what a rainbow should look like. some pretty spectacular terrestrial uh, fishing with dry flies over here on NCF. Um, you know, a lot of people don't think in the southeast that you can get into good hopper fishing, so to speak. Uh, but, you know, you can, bottom line. But we, we saw that these two days of fishing. Uh, we caught some really nice fish. We weren't throwing little small parachute hoppers. We are throwing big foam, uh, you know. And uh, it's a great place to throw ants, beetles, and hoppers, you know, from June through September. you know staged under trees you throw a big hopper in man they just come up and hail the thing i mean just like it owes them money i mean it was outstanding you take big fish like that with the aggressiveness of a steelhead that'll hit foam not only eat them but absolutely nail them man like they had like those those trout if it wasn't for their size they would have been straight up ethiopian the way they ate because you put a tasty morsel out in front of them and they freaking chowed down, dude. It was like Suzanne Summers, like a fat camp. Apparently that fish has some mucus on it or something. <laughs> and they don't like to be held so much and uh he didn't know that we were planning on filming him that's what all these cameras are for so he just decided to go ahead and take off
Hit back. Hey, you got it. Guys. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there he is. Got him.